Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play StarCraft 2, Nova Covert Ops, I'm the Mysterious JG. Last time, we captured General Davis, but uh, the Tall Dream showed up to cause trouble. I can't remember if we watched the UNN uh, with Kate Lockwell, so let's do that this time, and then we'll get into figuring out what kind of gear we want. Dominion officials have declared that Bardona is in a state of emergency after Protoss forces began attacking the planet. Emperor Valerian and several high-ranking officials are caught in the crossfire. Mm -hmm. The Emperor was revealing evidence against the Defenders of Man and their alleged leader, General Davis, when the Protoss struck. I would think she would have, like, a, a different outfit from her, like, tight leather coat get-up from, like, when she was a field reporter, I got it. You would think she'd have something a little more dressy. Anyway, we have to hold that against the Tall Dream. We're going to have the Defenders of Man on the front line. Our bases are behind. Uh, I know it's a risky thing to say, but I didn't have a ton of problems with this mission on normal difficulty, so I'm hoping it will go fairly well, even on hard. But we got resources. We got resources. This is one where our bases will be behind their lines for a long time. Uh, yeah, I. Uh, to construct battle cruisers on our next mission, Nova. You mean this mission? I've developed upgrades for them, if you're interested. But what we need to consider is um, battle cruisers can have uh, regenerative biosteel, which could be real handy. From playing this on normal, my recall is that you've got a mixture of, brown, of ground and air, but the ground can be really, or the air can be really irritating in this. So I was thinking we might go with Goliaths. Um, battle cruisers are useful, but they're expensive. The question becomes, do we, like, only one can get regenerative biosteel. I'll probably have more Goliaths on the map than battle cruisers. So battle cruisers with bio, uh, regenerative biosteel are very useful because it's tough to kill them in the first place, uh, which means they're likely to get a lot of regen between battles. But then the more units you have with the add-on, the more it's doing. Then again, Increases anti-air weapon range by three. Oh, that's big. That means they'll be shooting at those um, void rays from farther away. Uh, maybe I just need to keep that. Go with regenerative biosteel on. Well done. On you guys. For you guys, let's see. Transform between more four times faster. It could be useful. Without a tech lab. Jumping up and down cliffs, I don't doesn't seem like it'd be that useful here. Yeah, maybe we just go with um because you guys never need tech labs, right? Yeah. Transform fast, but I I think once they're sieged, they're just gonna stay sieged. This one might actually be useful here. I don't imagine it's using you. Don't imagine it's using you. Marauders. You guys have... Deals 20 damage to their target every 30 seconds. Maybe you guys get this then. I am quite proud of that one. And this would be... Building Liberators faster. I'm not sure how much I'm going to use Liberators though. I like Siege Tanks. Um, it's not like they're terrible or anything. Probably won't be able to use Banshees. What if I give them Cloaking Powers? Because uh, the AI does tend to do poorly against Cloak Liberators. Special Ordinance is kind of useful for them, though. That's your Special Ordinance. Oh, this is Logistics, not Ordinance. How interesting. Interesting, but stupid.
when you guys could have smart servos, optimized. I'm not going to use Reapers, so I don't care. Okay. So yeah, my strategy is going to be try to get up Goliaths as fast as possible. Uh, eventually try to get them backed by siege tanks. I don't know if I'll bunkers, if I'll be able to get them set up. Um, but we'll see. This I have hopes for this mission going well, but we'll see. I think uh, on normal mode, it was just bunkers with siege tanks, and I had a couple of battle cruisers to deal with air. But I feel like it's going to be harder. That's something that simple might not work. As for Nova herself, detecting uh, cloaked is going to be really important. Staying cloaked is probably just as good as anything else. I don't know how often I'll have time to really manually control her anyway, so. All right, let's just go. And here's Krause, we've got the Tolerian mothership in the background. The battle, this battle spans the entire city. You use the subway system to quickly transport your army from point to point. That is a thing, although, I, again, I don't know how on top of that I will be. We'll need to get um, economy going as quickly as possible. Again, my actions permitted aren't insanely high. Go ahead. Ah. Enemy forces are moving down the central streets in these locations. Additionally, I've summoned the Dominion fleet to help us, but it'll be some time before they arrive. Once they're here, our battle cruisers will have no problem blasting through the Taldarim. Until then. You've been cleared to build your own. Don't have a lot of resources. We already have the plans. First, we must construct a fusion core. Then the ships themselves will require a vast number of resources. Okay. Never thought beating Alarak would come cheap. Oh, it's all! Could try to take advantage of their bases. Do I have a... No, I don't have a armory. I need to get armory and stuff going pretty quickly. We hear you. <sighs> ah, you scared me. What's going on? Go ahead. Uh, I might be getting ahead of myself trying to get this built. Add on complete. We have you on screen. SCV ready. Ah, Commander. As you say. Add on complete. So they're coming up three different corridors, but for right now. I'm fixated on their starting uh, the middle at the start, but eventually that probably won't be enough. Okay, let's get some uh, supply depots going. Taldarim immortals are advancing on our position. They'll carve through our forces unless we stop them. Leave it to me. Oh, you should probably be over there. Nova here. SCB ready. Yep. Yes, sir. How can we help? Yep. Standing by. SCB ready. Okay. So let's try to... Let's try to spread our defenses that I start with out. 
Again, we're, we're trying to keep the Sons of Man going as long as we can. My actions for a minute aren't really up to it, but I'm trying. Is what I'm going to need eventually. Oh god. You should be working, guys. Yep. In the rear, what I want is factories just constantly pumping out stuff. Because these these things will all run out, so minerals are the current issue. SCB ready. I've ordered the defenders of man to build up their fortifications in the side streets. The Taldarim will probably strike these areas soon. Your okay. support would be welcome, Nova. Yeah, it's going to be really useful if Nova can go to I'll be there. places where we anticipate issues. Upgrade complete. Who is idle? I don't see them. My scans show Taldarim void rays gathering for an attack from the left. I'll cut them off. Thanks, Rival. En route. All hands to battle stations. Need something liberated? Liberators in trouble over here. Confirm that last. Loud and clear. So we've got our uh, Goliaths moving this way. We're returning fire. Okay, that didn't go as well as I'd hoped. But, could have been worse. Alderim's attacks are intensifying. Uh -huh. Our outer defenses won't last unless we permanently station reinforcements there. Should the perimeter fall, the Protoss attack forces can converge, and we'll have a hell of a fight on our hands. Oh, yeah. They also destroy the Dominion Research Center in this vicinity. I heard they were on the verge of a breakthrough. Mm -hmm. Out of, uh... Best to keep it safe. Out of resources again, or, uh, supply. Upgrade complete. So we're trying to protect the science facility, huh? Be careful, Nova. More enemy void rays are flying in from the right side. Nova, why are you helping these vermin? It's a pretty heavy score, man. Some people here. You already know that. You just don't care. Roger. Say again. Got it. Status report. Confirm that last. I'll make it happen. Nova, 
The first squadrons in the Dominion fleet have arrived, and will begin supporting our defenses. Our Gorgon-class battlecruisers are particularly effective against heavy resistance. Give the call, and I'll command them to clear an area. Okay, that worked all right. Mobile uh, strike force of Goliaths is not the worst idea that you could possibly have. Let's get these queued up as number six and try to keep having Goliaths pumped out. And let's try to keep having resources gathered. the central entrance to our base. Call down a Gorgon if you can, Nova. Okay, we got central lane. And they have a cooldown, but you do want to use these guys, otherwise they're wasted. They they are basically just a death wave that takes out whatever attacks in the in one of the three lanes. So I will wait until they actually hit. Oh, Terran Dominion battle cruisers. Nuclear missile ready. So we should have a Gorgon coming through here, killing everything. We will showcase that on screen. It's a plot thing, basically. Once you get to work, we'll actually have you gather gas because now I've got the point where, thanks to the power of the Goliath, I'm running short on gas. Not the Goliath. Oh, yeah, the Goliath. Not the Gorgon, I should say. All right, let's keep pumping out uh, supply depots. And the Gorgon is still making his way through. I guess I'll just have everybody track towards Nova and just have a big mobile Goliath uh, party. Not enough minerals. That is if I don't waste all of my minerals. Confirm that last. Take caution. Wrath walkers are coming in from the left side. You. We might want them to just come in and have Nova herself track ahead if she can without being spotted. Confirm that last status report. Nova can get up here and nuke, that would be very useful. So she'll get spotted and killed potentially. There we go. That's what I like to see. 
I'm assuming the next nasty will be up on... Let's go ahead and get some Gorgons going, just so that we're, you know, we're not wasting the, the resource. Yeah, lots and lots of uh, Goliaths. Goliaths are... This is something I learned from watching uh, other YouTube videos. Goliaths are way more powerful in this expansion than they were in the uh, vanilla version of this uh, campaign, for whatever reason. More Wrathwalkers are moving to intercept our forces. That last. I said more Wrathwalkers. I heard you. They don't seem to have a lot of detection here, which is good. This is going. I'm pretty happy with how this is going. I'd like to protect that research facility. That could be a tall order. The remainder of the Dominion fleet has reached our position, Emperor. At last. Ensure they fill in the weak points in our defenses. You should also transfer General Davis to one of the brigs. She must be kept under maximum guard, no matter what happens. Big Max guard, sir. I'll see to it. I mean, I might be getting a little overconfident here. This could still get rough. But the fact that we don't have to really defend our bases, we just have to keep pumping out troops helps, because I'm not having to worry about setting up defenses around resource points so much. reason to launch this, but uh, the timing to get it to where it's actually helpful, you kind of need to launch it before the threat is apparent sometimes. Dumb bitch! Janara. I guess Alarak won't fight his own battles. Wow. You're really kind of calling him a bitch there, aren't you? Where's the science facility here? Alright, so I fired a Gorgon up towards where the current uh, warning messages are coming from, so that should be helpful. Got plenty of Goliaths queued up. In fact, I'm. I'm problem I'm going to run into is being uh, maxed out on pop. ABC, after all, is pop. I'm an engineering bay. I must have, or I couldn't have all these. Well, whatever. So now we got the Terran Dominion battle cruisers going to come in here and attack Janara's mothership. And not actually finish it, but these guys will. Is she finally gone? I don't think so. But they are still more Taldarim attacking. Our fight has not ended. Unacceptable command. We are at maximum supply. I think we've got this, guys. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you've got this, friend. Confirm that last. 
Yeah, Gorgon will take care of these guys. Confirm that last. So I've got a. Uh, yeah, you know, Gorgons are. Um, Goliaths are just really good because they can shoot air and ground. Obviously not doing anything right now where they um, are getting regen. I've got nukes ready to go. They just don't have support. They don't have uh, detection. I'm used to them having so much detection. Not the Protoss specifically, but any enemy in this campaign. Science facility untouched so far. Although maybe somebody comes and repairs it periodically and I'm not aware. And even our original Liberators are still in place. They're no longer cloaked because they ran out of energy, but... Oh, they're coming up on the Dominion bases, though. They have wiped out some of these side bases gradually. Numerous Taldarine void rays have set a course for our position. I'll deal with it. Loud and clear. She might have to go nuke these guys personally. While the rest of the army Status report. does what it does. Where are you? There you are. I'll make it happen. Oh. So kill some of ours, but. Oh, actually, it won't because they just killed ours. Gotta keep our guys coming. Yeah, it's a lot. Oh, I've got Marines dying. Not mine, because I didn't build any, but... The whole mess of death here. I guess I should have more uh, robotics facilities. I'm not building forces fast enough. They come over you, Nova. Until death we part. I don't know what that one is, but I got it. Our SCVs, this whole time Alarak has been testing me. I will not fail. Janara is leading the rest of the Death Fleet toward us, Nova. We'll finish this. One way or another. We're gonna find you. We're gonna get you, get you, get you. I guess my bases are now getting attacked. Is under attack. Mineral field depleted. One of our outer bases has been overrun. We need to get more defenses in place quickly. Well, that's it. I didn't even get to use the nukes. Alderim casualties are high. We forced them to accept defeat. We we're really good. There were losses on our side as well. Recall our ships, Horner. We need to get back to Core Hall. You know where we're the sons of? One of the ships isn't responding. The Medusa. They had Davis in custody there. <sighs> Go figure. My scans show the Medusa has already left orbit. Then she escaped. 
Return to your ship, Nova. We have much to discuss. Uh, no, I'm just going to go after the Medusa. I'm not going to wait. Oh, well, whatever. Battlecruiser operational. Sorry, 15 units of battlecruisers. You might have can, and on normal difficulty or higher. I swear I've done that um, on normal, and it just didn't count. Until Death Fleet, we part. Sorry, 300 units of Gorgons. I swear I've done that before, too. For whatever, or whatever reason, it's lost my uh, my accomplishments here on normal difficulty. But, uh, yeah, I mean, mass um, goliaths seem to work. This is one where other people are already thrown down stationary defenses. So a strategy of just ma like maintaining a death ball and moving it around to wherever it's needed is good. Um, we got the ionic force field, and I'm going to go ahead and call it a video. Um, eh, no, actually, let's let's go back to the pattern. We will see what the story and mission and stuff is now. And we'll pick it up. We had nothing killed with Yamato cannons. 401 units killed with Gorgons. 74 with Nova. I don't know how many of those were by nuke. But we killed five times what we uh, lost. So uh, against the Protoss, that's pretty good. Protoss are, you know, they had a decent quantity of units. But other than the Zealots and a few things, they're not really squishy. Uh, if you can kill more, if you can inflict more unit per unit losses than you take against the Protoss, you're usually doing okay. Unless you're also playing as a Protoss, and you're still doing okay. So there's only one mission left, but it's uh, one of the tough ones, for sure. I do not take kindly to betrayal, Paran. You've made a powerful enemy today. You made some powerful enemies, son. You. Have I now? Your hubris is quite entertaining. But I like your butt even more. Back. <laughs> oh, I hope we don't have to fight him in the comics Nova. or some crap. The Taldarim are warping out, but the damage is done. Now it will be even harder to convince the people that aliens are not a threat. Well, yeah. That's why the defenders of man attacked the Protoss in the first place. Did they though? Davis will go to any length to gain public support. No matter how I many I thought the Protoss came to cost. wipe out the Sur. Oh no, they did. They did have something in the story. Davis will answer for the They attacked the Taldrim outpost or something. Down and bring her in to stand trial for her crimes. Bring her in. We've tried that. It didn't work. Well, try harder. There's only one way to stop her. Extrajudicial no. murder. I have publicly declared that Davis is to stand trial in a court of law. Bring her back alive, Nova. Mm -hmm. Yes, Emperor. <laughs> Emperor douchebag. I wish I was a specter instead of a ghost. Oh, then I could have a Normandy and do whatever I want. I can't believe the hot blonde chick is not that interested in me, the bald old guy. I'm not that old, actually. Give myself a little more credit. Dominion space, 1700 shipboard time. This is an example of the type of humor I used to keep things light aboard the it's been Normandy. It's since we lost contact with the ship that Davis was on. Mm -hmm. Jim Davis, the author of Garfield. Shipyards. A Dominion vessel is firing on the rest of the fleet. Mm -hmm. It's her. Yes, not really doing a very good job of keeping under wraps what her location is. Huh? Hey, it's one of those evil dudes with the helmets. Why are we letting them on the ship? All those guys with weird helmets, you can't see their eyes turn out to be evil. Well, anyway. Let's see what the mission brief is for the next and final episode of Nova Covert Ops. The Cerro shipyard is a strategic point for the Dominion. Gorgon battlecruisers are repaired here after taking damage in combat. Mm-hmm. The shipyards Even though they're invulnerable in like every campaign she mission. Is aware of them, and the top ranking defenders still support her. But what is she planning on doing? Nothing good. It looks like she left her ship to activate the Xanthos. It's an experimental war machine with an array of heavy assault weapons. She's going to use it to finish off the fleet. Marion can't hold on to the Dominion without these ships. How can I take it down? Carefully. The Xanthos features prototype armor plating that will repel direct attacks. But if you target its weapons individually, you can bring them offline and force her retreat. The Xanthos will be vulnerable to attack while it's repairing. They'll likely retreat to a secure area during the process. Mm -hmm. Breaking through their fortifications and striking then is your best chance to destroy it, Nova. 
Of course. It always comes down to me. Well, it is the Nova Covert Ops campaign. I mean, did you really want this to be the mission where you suddenly don't have to do anything? Anyway, when we come back next time, I have not been looking forward to this. This is a mission that I'd maybe even consider whether I wanted to do this campaign. I even thought about doing this campaign on normal, just to chillax. And mostly down to this mission, which uh, I have always struggled with. But we'll try it out next time. There may be a lot of saves coming our way to victory. But eventually we will defeat... The final mission of actual StarCraft to date, as of, you know, 2022. The final official sanctioned Blizzard Cannon um, campaign of StarCraft II, Nova Covert Ops, Endgame. Catch you next time for the final episode of this series.